to the movies, yay! We saw Raya and the Last Dragon. We won't get into how, why, how that came about, but it wasn't because I bought tickets to the wrong movie. We saw Raya and the Last Dragon, which you can see in theaters, but you can also see via Disney Plus for an added fee. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's another kind of classic Disney movie where they have like a female lead who's a girl who... A female who's a girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I meant like age, so she's a girl, not... Okay. Her, their female lead isn't an older woman. And in this particular movie, this involves a culture, I think it's a culture Disney made up, where people, humans, and peop and used to live alongside dragons very happily. And then something happened where that couldn't be the case anymore, and Rhea, our lead, is kind of the person that's going to go on, you know, a quest to be part of resolving this issue. Kelsey, go wait or skip. I think, go see this movie. This is one of the better movies that I've seen at the theater in a long time. I enjoyed it. I thought it had a good message. It surprised me in a lot of ways. I didn't expect some of the characters to be the way they were. And I thought it was a satisfying, fun Disney movie. I'm gonna say wait on this movie. I thought the movie, I'd seen, like I got really good reviews, but almost a lot of them said, it's formula, it follows the Disney formula, but they did a really good job following that formula. And when I saw the movie, I agreed with that. I was like, yep, <laughs> this follows that. I thought it wasn't as exciting. It wasn't, I don't know, it just left me feeling kind of like, meh. But I did think that it had a, a really good message. I just wish it was in a better wrapper, that message. So, we'll talk about that as we get into spoilers. Spoilers. It's formulaic, but I guess you could say that about every movie. Like, what isn't formulaic? What movie doesn't have follow the standard movie formula? No, no, of... no. Disney formula of the young female lead who is missing either one or both parents, who goes on a quest. But I mean, like, the, like if these it ain't broke, the... don't fix it, Disney. <laughs> Especially, like... The Lion King wasn't broke. You changed it. Broke it. You know what I mean? Like, stick with what works. I think it, it works. I don't know. For me, I just, I was expecting more. Um, I did think, it, like, it was a good movie. I did not care for Frozen. I thought this movie was better than Frozen. I thought it had more to say uh, than that movie did. But I just, I don't know. It just was kind of... I think the Frozen's music was good, but I think that this, yeah, this movie, movie didn't have music. This movie didn't have music, but it had a lot of like really fun and lovable characters and surprising characters that my heart leaps with joy when I think about even now. The dragon, particularly. Yeah. Um, um, even like the... Well, there, I don't want to get into too much into spoilers because there's just a lot of fun things in the movie. If you haven't seen it, I know we're in spoiler time, but yeah. it's a really great movie. I think you should go see it. Just go see it right now. Well, I'll tell you what I did like about the movie, and that was I thought this movie had an actual like profound kind of message in it. I look at the world the movie was taking place in, and I compare mm -hmm. it to the world that I live in, and this idea that you can't eradicate eradicate hatred with hatred or with divisiveness or with you know this is all mine and I've got things have to happen exactly how it instead this movie went with the idea of well if you want to save the world in this case you have to take it's about trust and it's about not just trust but taking a step in faith where you don't really know what's going to happen and you kind of let go of control and just let things fall as they may. So we had characters in this movie who sacrificed even their own lives taking that step of trust. Like, I'm going to do this, but in order for well, this it, to work, it required somebody what's else. It's important to know that, that trust was trust that was in the more poignant part of the movie that trust was given in the situation where the person giving the trust it was a big sacrifice because the person had already like betrayed that person's yeah. trust like twice in the movie yeah yeah and so it was really difficult but it was the only way and i thought that that part of the movie was especially great yes i also like that 
You might recall a few moments ago, I said I liked that message, but I didn't like the wrapper, like, you know, that this, the container that it came in. And for me, I, I did think it was like very Disney, you know, at the end, like everybody comes back and it all works out and somebody stepped out in trust and the other person did too. And so they saved the world. Like, um, and it did show that for a long time that didn't happen. I thought maybe it didn't, it didn't uh, emotionally like capture me. Like there were sad things that happened in this movie. I didn't cry in this movie. I didn't feel like emotionally invested. And it might be visually, like, I don't know, I might need to, we saw this in a regular movie theater. Maybe I would have been better off seeing this at home on our own TV. Or uh, we had planned to see it in IMAX whenever we did see it, but it just didn't work out that way. And so maybe I was visually like kind of cut off from the movie because I respond to the visual aspects a whole lot. But I just thought like the rest of the movie was kind of blah and like meh. And they, they certainly filled it with lots of cute characters. I don't know, I feel like somebody had a small idea and then Disney was like, here's this formula, put it in here. And gosh, we got some cute characters that are gonna sell a lot of toys. Like I just, I felt like the movie was missing some heart. And I wanted to be really blown away because it had such high, re like such good reviews. But I just, I wasn't blown away. Like I didn't feel, remember when you saw Up for the, like Up blew me. Like I, I even tear up now. See, I don't remember Up. Really? I remember Toy Story being really good. Yeah, Toy Story was another one. Um, and there were. I remember Up, Up and Away, the balloon littering situation okay. we used to get in as children. <laughs> Up, up, and away. It even had a song. Up, up, and away. And then they're like, litter the world. We're like, sorry, environment. Here's 6,000 balloons. It's my favorite thing about childhood. For some rando to come knock on my window at night. Yeah, my, yeah. This, this one, now you've got this address of my this name child. My name and address of this child is floating. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about growing up in the 80s. The second favorite thing was when we would all gather around that parachute and just like, <laughs> somebody would get to go in there and you'd be like, I mean, it was, I don't know if they, they do that anymore, but anyway. Anywho, when I saw some other movies, you know, in this genre, I just was more impacted than I was by this movie. I just thought this movie was, it was okay. And it did follow the formula minus no love story. So Rhea doesn't have a, a special, a special man in her life. Not to, yet. To run alongside her on this Rhea quest. Rhea and the dragon, T-O-O. -O. <laughs> the dragon is a male. But not also a dragon, a human. Anyway, I mean, it's just fine as a dragon. <laughs> anyway, the dragon was great in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Zisu. And, uh, Zisu and voiced by Aquafina, which I okay. really I didn't know who it was, but yeah, I yeah. enjoyed that performance. I enjoyed... I thought it would the, pop more, I guess. Remember how the, the genie and Aladdin... You know, I mean, granted, that's a totally different, like, Robin Williams voice that, and, like, it was like, boom, boom, like, crazy. And this movie was more subtle, but I did expect it to pop a little bit more, and it was a lot more, this movie was quiet and subtle, but profound message right there in the heart of it. Like, really profound for somebody like Rhea's father early on to make the choice that he did, and you know what? It kind of blew up in his face a little bit, you know, <laughs> like... You know, his daughter, and oh, by the way, the Disney thing where they really play on the orphan, like this was like taking it to a whole new level because basically everybody's orphaned. <laughs> you didn't enjoy my little, my little joke. It's a great movie, go see it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching.